Hi, Dr. J here. You know, um, I want to give you a brief little uh, talk, if it's okay with you, um, regarding the brain wealth and longevity program. Now, I've mentioned various places that um, there are at least 12 major reasons why people uh, develop Alzheimer's and dementia, uh, brain degeneration. And there are these different factors, causative factors, that lead to that. And uh, one of those, which I mentioned frequently, is toxicity. Now, I also talk about music. At least I love music. I love to play music. And so how many of you know, um, you've probably heard of organs before, right? No, 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 you know, like in the church or those dramatic uh, intros that are on like Young Frankenstein or some of the other uh, horror movies at the beginning, melodramatic music, you know, that's an organ, right? There's also the, the harmonica, mouth organ. Well, your body has organs too, not the same kind of organs as musical organs, but certainly if all your organs are working together, it is like a beautiful symphony. They all make music together well. And we live in a very toxic environment. Whether we think so or not, whether we notice it or not, those toxins are there and most of them are fat soluble. So in order to get them out of our body, we have to actually convert them. So um, the liver is a very key organ in the whole process of clearing toxins from our body. Of course, the kidneys are involved, large intestines involved, small intestine, the lungs even, the skin. We have a lot of different organs that participate in the process of removing toxins from our body. Very, very important thing to do. Now, the um, our liver, our liver has a huge to-do list. I mean, compared to a lot of the other organs, huge to-do list. It's, it's just like, we're gonna switch over here to the green screen for a moment so you can see this. Or just no, no background. Our liver, long to-do list. It does so many more things than many of the other organs. It's just, it's got a huge job. It's got to detoxify things. It's sort of like a, a kitchen sink. One of its jobs is being the kitchen sink and the uh, dishwasher. People put the dishes in there to clean, you know, the toxins and the garbage and stuff, to clean it off so the body is pristine inside. Now, depending on what's going on, there may be a big party going on, like there is next door uh, to my house here. You can hear it. Fiesta music going on in the background. So there could be a big party that happens and then all of a sudden a lot of dishes go in the dishwasher. What if you run out of dishwashing detergent or the water stops? Well, you can't clean all the oily stuff and the gunk and the grime off of the plates. You don't have the right substances for the dishwasher. Well, your liver is the same thing. It requires water. It requires a lot of different kinds of special detergents to turn those fat soluble things like pesticides, DDT, glyphosate, and even hormones, uh, testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, converting all of those into more water soluble forms is very important to clear out of the body. So the liver has this long to-do list. Now, if you don't have enough of the detergent, that to-do list gets longer and longer and longer. I don't know. You know, I just did a seminar, and uh, I mentioned a to-do list, and I asked people if they have a to-do list, and not very many people did. Well, I, I, I don't know. Are they all trust fund babies? I have no idea. But I certainly um, have a long to-do list, and so does the liver. It just goes on and on and on, and the, it keeps getting added to the more toxins, more toxic environment that we live in, and the more toxins that get into your body. So this to-do list gets really long, and the liver does particular functions. As an organ, it 
it's the only organ that has particular functions. Other organs can't take over. The lungs can't take over. The kidneys can't take over. The, the liver, no, if you have a long to-do list, you might be able to delegate those tasks out, and which is a really wise thing to do. You should just focus on the things you're really good at doing. And to the degree that you're able to, delegate out the other responsibilities. Well, the liver has this long list of to-dos it has to do, and only it can do it. Your lungs can't do it. Your heart can't do it. Your bra even your brain cannot do what the liver is required to do. So when the liver is not supported with the right nutrients, the right substances it needs to do the, the, the dishes, not sufficient water, not sufficient um, acidity, basicness, the, the, it, it just doesn't have what it needs, glutathione, things of that nature, um, then it cannot perform the dishwashing and the dishes pile up. And then it clutters the kitchen. So if your liver is a, a dishwasher and all the di dirty dishes start piling up, it starts spilling out of the dishwasher. And then the dishwasher doesn't work very well. It gets clogged up. It gets damaged, and eventually that's going to break down. So, well, the liver happen, that happens to the liver too. If it's overstressed, has too many dishes to clean, then it will become damaged, and everything else backs up. Everything else is negatively influenced by the liver's inability to do that. So, that's one of the reasons why it's very important and why we test to figure out if people have chemical toxicity and heavy metal toxicity in their body because that is something the liver's job is to keep our internal environment, to keep the symphony clean. We don't want all this trash in the aisles of the symphony. People tripping over things, the music goes bad, the people are out of tune, right? So when we're talking about organs, there are these different organs our body has. The liver is very key in this whole process. And many people talk about detoxification. Well, there is a detoxification support that we can do, but not all detox methods are the same. There's a lot of junk out there. There's a lot of really fake detergent. Uh, there are a lot, using the analogy still of the dishwasher, there's a lot of systems out there that are unproven, they're unscientific, they don't support the chemistry that the liver needs. And so you might as well just be um, going out and, you know, instead of buying uh, dishwashing detergent, just buy gasoline. Just put gasoline in the dishwasher. It'll work the same, right? No, no. You have to have the right substances for the dishwasher to work and you have to have the right substances for your liver to work. So that's, I just want to talk a little bit about organs, a little bit about the musical harmony that is necessary in our bodies and why I put such an emphasis on looking at this carefully. And it's, it's part of the uh, initial aspects of the, the um, tickets that you could uh, choose on uh, the programs that we have to offer. This here, um, access accessible through our Facebook group. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, analogy and uh, this green background here. Um, in actuality, in Chinese medicine, the liver is associated with the green color. That's another reason why I'm doing the green screen in the background. So anyway, it's Dr. J. Hopefully uh, you learned a little something um, that you didn't know before, or if you already knew it, maybe there's a slight twist to it, makes it easier for you to remember. And we'll talk to you again soon about the different things that you can do to help protect your brain, your nervous system, and in your entire system, your entire body, so you live in great musical harmony with the world.